okay? Hello YouTube, low battery, let's do this as fast as we can. Today I have finished reading Sinner by Maggie Stiefvater. I really like books that start where they finish, that tie things in in the storyline, that kind of make reference to themselves and to the little things that they said and they tie it back in and through. I really like in-jokes. I like when you understand something, when you feel like you really get it. I got that a lot in this book. It comes from the same world as as the Shiva, Linga and Forever werewolf series. I couldn't really remember the characters very well and remembered who Cole St. Clair was. Oh my god, Cole St. Clair, the lead singer of Narcotica. <laughs> um, so this book follows him making sort of a comeback into a reality television show. It sort of felt a little bit forced when they were talking about following him in the Big Brother house and putting some fake band members and stuff in there, but it got much more real as the time went on and you got to know the producer and... I really, really enjoyed this book. I loved it. It's a romance through and through. It's got enough tension, enough drama, enough happiness. It was kind of a happy book. Even though a lot of sort of bad things happen, it's not too bad. It, it has a sort of thrilling, everything's going to be okay in the end feel to it, and it didn't disappoint me. Although it's a werewolf book, and I love a great werewolf transformation, it was more about the the feelings of the teenagers. <laughs> I think maybe I like angst. I love that deeper understanding of emotion, I think, is what I really love. Um, other people see it as like flippant angst, and I see it as kind of sort of delving into humanity and what it means. What it means to be human and what how different humans feel differently and experience different emotions attached to different circumstances. And I think that's a very important thing to discuss in books, to show different differences in people, really. One of my favourite characters in this book was Jeremy. He's the bass guitarist. He has his shit together, man. He's just happy. He was cool. He kind of obviously got very upset about things at times, but he took it in a way that he experienced those emotions and then he was able to move on from that. Whereas the other characters like Cole and Isabel kept holding on to these emotions and wouldn't accept them. Like, they, everything they did was a fight and it was very emotional and it was really good to see those sorts of conflicts, I guess, of style. Okay. So, sorry if the recording quality has changed quite a lot. I have changed my camera because I remembered I had a second camera, so when my first battery died and I was like, no, I have to wait for the battery to charge before I can continue on my rant, um, on my book review, sorry. This camera was sitting just down there, so I thought I would give it a go, give it a run for its money. I like the books. I like them. Even though they're paperback and hard copies and stuff, they still look in theme. So this book opens up to LA and I love LA. I've been to LA t uh, a couple of times and twice? Once. Anyway, I love LA. I, I went there um, and I actually took my very favourite photo I've ever taken in LA. Here, I'll show you. My, it was of this hummingbird actually. Um, but the description of LA at the beginning of this book is actually all the way through the book, but particularly in the beginning when he's just gotten off the plane and he's in with his driver in a car and he's describing everything outside as this amazing, beautiful, picturesque LA. And then he gets out of the car mid-highway, stuck in traffic, and walks. Like, I think that is such a cool thing to do. And there's a really, really nice thing that happens in the beginning that sums up at the end. And it's not... It's not huge to the storyline, but at the beginning he asks his driver if he wants to come and with him when he leaves the car. He's like, would you like to come? And then he just leaves. And of course the driver doesn't come because you can't just leave the car in the middle of the highway. But then by the end of the book, he does. Or well, it leaves, it leaves it hanging, but I believe that he does. I believe he did. Um, and I think little things like that is what I meant by referencing itself and just tying up nicely. There's a lot of talk about substance abuse and drinking and drugs and partying and searching for a high uh, and it really goes into what you're actually addicted to and, and what you want and what you love. It really explores the themes of loneliness and need, being needy. This book stands very good on its own. You really didn't need to have read the other three. You could kind of piece together what had happened. Um, it's handy to have read the others, obviously, because you got references as to who people were and you knew the story of their friends, Sam and Grace, even though they're only in the book as people on the other end of a phone call. That's probably all for me. 
from me about this book. I wonder if any of this is usable. I seem very annoying today. I said, hey, yeah, 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 what's going on? So, <laughs> you guys look really funny right now. Let me take a photo of you. I, um, I usually have my relatively fancy looking camera, but today you look like this. <laughs> So I was really happy with that read and it was really quite an inspiring and happy kind of pro-life book and how life is all about the choices that you make and it had a very strong, deep sort of philosophical um, moral to it even though it's just a werewolf book. Um, there's nothing just about it, like, I mean there's a lot of just things about it but there's I don't know, just is a weird word. You know when you see the title of the book in the book and you're like, oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, that happened a couple of times actually. I was like, oh, oh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Another nice touch is that no one actually does any drugs and no one actually drinks anything. Um, I think that's a really clear good message to send out is that you can go to parties and you can act like you're drunk and you can still live that lifestyle but you don't have to do the extreme you don't have to take it to the extremes. Like, you can still have these same sort of experiences, but you don't have to be completely off your head while you're doing it. <laughs> I'm just being annoying. I'm just being really annoying, and I haven't talked to anybody all day, and it's really showing off. I'm not annoying. I'm awesome. I'm so cool. I have good experiences. <laughs> just wing it. Do whatever the hell you want. Whatever you feel on the day. Just... Oh, take your own advice. Okay. I'm going to go edit some of my novel that I'm writing right now and then I'm going to work out what I'm going to read next month because that's come up very quickly. I hope you've enjoyed the content. I will probably get back to you on Monday with my TBR for the rest of the month and... Sorry, not the rest of the month. The TBR for next month. And sleep... sleep in my eye. I'm alive and awake! I'm alive and awake! I hope you're enjoying my reviews. I'll see you again on Monday. Flick it to me and I... my phone is ringing! God! Thanks, Mom. Spun out. <laughs>